Sup guys, I'm back and today I am doing another movie review. Today I am going to be reviewing Godzilla vs. Mothra The Battle for Earth from 1992. Yes, as many of you know, this is in my top 5 least favorite Godzilla movies and that has not changed. I still, you know, am not the biggest fan of this movie. You know, I don't like hate this movie. You know, the only two movies, Godzilla movies, that people need to realize that the only two Godzilla movies that I hate are Godzilla's Revenge and... You know, and guys, all 98, and I still have to review 98. <sighs> Unfortunately. But yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this review. So basically, guys, what happens in this movie is that a giant meteor has crash landed on Earth, and it lands right next to Godzilla. And if that wasn't bad enough, Mothra's there's a giant egg that pops up on in on an undiscovered an undiscovered black and I talk an undiscovered island called Infant Island, and uh, it was buried, but the typhoon the, the giant meteorite caused typhoons and storms, and Mothra's egg came up from under the ground. So basically, this group of adventurers goes onto this island and they meet the Cosmos, which are obviously the two fairies, the twin fairies. So basically, what they state what they say is that. Like 12,000 years ago that their civilization was protected by Mothra. But some scientists created a device that controlled the Earth's climate. Which they say that the Earth has feelings too. So the Earth was obviously offended by that. And it caused the creation of the Black Mothra. Which I really love in this movie. Batra. Batra is awesome. Awesome, awesome kaiju. So ba Batra was basically the evil version of Mothra. And he was destroying a lot of stuff. So Mothra beat him in battle and locked him away. But in this movie, Batra Larva, the larva version of Batra, has awakened. And basically, their first confrontation is at, is at sea. Mothra fights, first fights Godzilla at sea. And here's something that I don't like about this movie. The main reason why I really don't you know I'm not the biggest fan of this movie. Because Mothra is the focal point of this movie. That's the reason why I don't like this movie. Like, Mothra is the main centerpiece. I don't know why. Just, I prefer the show version of this movie better. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, even though Mothra is still kind of the centerpiece, Godzilla feels a little more involved in that movie. Godzilla just feels like a side story in this movie, which I'm not, you know, the biggest fan of. I mean, sure, he was kind of like the side story in 2014, but I actually like that movie a lot more than this. But... Basically, that's the re big, biggest reason why I really don't like this movie. But Batra saves the movie. So basically, their first fight at sea, Godzilla basically beats Mothra. But then, Batra Larva shows up and Godzilla and, ba and Batra Larva do battle. But apparently, one of the tectonic plates has shifted and ba Godzilla and Batra have fallen in. So basically, they're presumed dead. So then Mothra goes to Tokyo and makes her cocoon. And she, you know, comes out of the cocoon as a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. But then, Godzilla comes out of Mount Fuji. It turns out that he has swam through, you know, volcanic lava, which is crazy. Which they say in the movie it's like minimum, the, the, the temperature is like 1,500 degrees Celsius, which is crazy. It shows you how powerful Godzilla is when he's able to swim through lava. And also, Batra makes it out. And, you know, you know, you know what I didn't understand? It took Mothra, like, so long to transform into her butterfly stage, where it took Batra, like that, like a couple seconds, which is really funny. So, Mothra and Batra do battle, then Godzilla shows up, so Mothra and Batra kind of form an alliance to team up against Godzilla, and they beat him. They What they do is they, they grab Godzilla, and they fly him out to sea, but Godzilla starts biting Batra in the neck, and shoots his atomic blast at him. So Batra loses all of his strength and him and Godzilla fall into the water and Mothra lets go. So then the next day, they're at an airport and basically the cosmos tell the humans that a giant meteorite is coming towards Earth and it will destroy all life on Earth. And they said that Batra was originally the, the main person, the main, main monster to stop it. He was going to stop the meteor, but obviously now he's dead. So Mothra has volunteer yourself to change the course of the meteor so it doesn't hit earth so yeah and the ending is mothra flying up into outer space and that actually comes into play 
in one of the movies in the Heisei era, which I really like. So yeah, that's basically how the movie ends. So yeah, guys, you know, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this movie. I mean, I got some enjoyability out of it, you know, especially with Batra. Batra's theme is awesome. I love the Batra larva. I have a figure of him. He's awesome. I, I like him a lot better than Mothra. Um, yeah, I just, I really love Batra in this movie. That's the best part about this movie. Batra's awesome. Godzilla's awesome in this movie as well. I just didn't like the fact that Mothra was the main focus of this movie. I just wasn't the biggest fan of that. But, you know, it's whatever. You know, I'm glad that they made that movie. It, it is a good movie. It is a good movie, especially if you love Mothra. If you love Mothra, then you're really going to love this movie. And Mothra is technically one of my favorites, you know. Now I'm looking back on my top five favorite Godzilla monsters list. I don't think Mothra would have made my list now that I'm looking back on it. Well, the 2019 version of Mothra, I think, is still probably the honorable mention. Like I said, I made a comment about, like, you know, I should have swapped Mechagodzilla and Mothra's places. So, yeah, Mothra is not one of my favorite kaijus, at least, you know, at least, well, not the 2019 Mothra. I actually like that Mothra. But... Yeah, guys, that's basically the movie. You know, make sure to follow me on Instagram, oh my Godzilla one Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.